Hi everyone, it's Carla with Fat Fiber. I am here tonight to preview a little video for you guys and show you the fibers that are going to be available in the January box. Um, as you know, I've been working with Chris for the past couple months to collaborate with her on this January box. So first I want to say um, thank you to all the contributors that sent in all the wonderful samples because they're all absolutely gorgeous and I, I really couldn't pick a favorite. I love them all. Um, and secondly, I just want to say that I'm really happy to be here and to show you these fibers and uh, most of these are going to be available in your box. Some boxes might be slightly different, but um, because we do have some more samples that are coming in, we just haven't received them yet here. So um, I will be including those in your box too. So it might be a surprise. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, regardless, it's fibers and it's fiber notions and knitting notions and all that kind of business. So it's wonderful stuff that we love and no one will ever be disappointed. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you the fibers that we have available and that were sent in. Um, I'm going to just kind of open them up one at a time and, and give you a little preview and show you what we've got. This first one is from Twisted Fiber and it's a Corydell wool. It's actually in these really pretty, um, I don't know, I want to say seafoam green, but maybe it's not. It's more like a very, a very light blue. It's pretty. There's shades of blue, there's green, there's a little bit of white in this. Um, there's just all kinds of really, really pretty colors that I love. I, I kind of, I'm partial to this turquoise color. Also, I want to mention that with it being Corydell, it's super, super duper easy to spin. It is one of the first fibers that I learned how to spin with, and I'm so grateful for that because actually I started off with a commercial merino, which kind of was a nightmare. It, I, I was using a drop spindle, and every single time I would try to start drafting it, that spindle hit the floor. So it, it was really difficult for me, and I was almost ready to give up, and then a friend gave me some Corydell. And I finally figured it out, and I loved it after that. So it's super duper easy to spin. I think you're really going to enjoy using it. There's a very, very long piece of roving here, so you're going to be able to have a really good chance to try out this fiber. And I think you're going to love it. So that's what we've got. Again, it's from Twisted Fiber, and it's Corydale Wool. Next, from Handmade Hollows, she sent in these gorgeous little samples. Um, this fiber is super duper soft. It's got sparkle. It's pretty. Look at that. It's, I want to say, it's a dark colors, but you know what? It kind of has that same blue in there as the other one, the Corrido one. Uh, this one, though, is a, is a blend of Merino, Surrey Alpaca, Bamboo, and Angelina. So... Wow, that's pretty. Look at that. This is another really nice way, um, a nice easily prepared top that's that's easy to spin. You can simply grab it from here and go. You can split it down the middle. You can do anything you want with it. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, Handmade Hollows also included a little coupon here on the back so you can get a discount when you go after you see this fiber you're going to want to go to her store and um, buy some more of it I know you will and uh, there's a coupon back here for it so be sure that you take a look at that and use the coupon too nobody wants to miss out on a good sale so that'll be a good thing to look at moving right along zany pilgrimage sent in this Really nice. It's a 23 micron wool. She calls it Child's Wander colorway. And um, I'm kind of partial to this color. I really like it with the blues and the purples and the mauves. There's a bit of uh, peachy color in here. It's great. Look at that. Oh, I forgot. It, it's tied there, so it's not really in a knot, but that's, I should have taken some scissors and clipped it. But anyways, regardless, we can see what we're looking at here. It's super pretty. Look at that. I love these colors. It'll be fun to spin. So this is Zany Pilgrimage, and I think you guys are going to love them. All of the little little braids that she sent in are a little bit different, of course, but um, they pretty much have the same little colorway. So there you go, Zany Pilgrimage. 
next? Oh, I'm going to grab this next because these, when these, actually, when I picked these up from the post office, I, I could smell it through the box. It was, it was that good. So we've got these cute little tea candles. How awesome are those? Nicole sent these in. It's from Clear the Air Candles. The red one here is called Chocolate Cherry Kisses. Oh, it, it's good. It smells good. The gold color one is called Felix Felices. So um, I'm not sure what that Felices means. I probably should have looked that up. Huh? I don't, sorry about that. But these gorgeous little candles are great. Even if you don't, you know, even if you don't want to burn them, they're good just to sit around as an air freshener. Like I said, I had picked this box up um, on my way to work, and so it sat in my car for a few hours, and um, it was nice and cold, so don't have to worry about any heat getting to these. But anyways, when I came back out, my car smelled great, so I, I, might, I might place these in my car before I burn them. I don't know. We'll see. But they're really great, and you guys are going to love them. You're, every box is going to have two of these in here, so perfect. Next, we have a hand, um, I'm sorry, Howard Knickknacks. Howard Knickknacks sent in this cute little packet here of rainbow colorways. Basically, what this is, this is um, Suffolk wool, and so she's taken it and she's dyed it into these different rainbow colors, and she's calling it a um, felting pack. So this is good for needle felting. I know that probably... Um, Sorry, I had the radio going. I wanted to turn that down. The uh, Most of you fiber artists have probably dabbled in some needle felting. Um, I know that I have. And if you guys haven't yet, then you probably will. So as you know, these colors, I mean, this this is, you know, it doesn't look like very much fiber. It's actually quite a bit. But when you go to needle felt, this is going to go a long way. So it's really nice to have all these different colors available. And um, I, you're really going to enjoy doing this. And I would say if you haven't needle felted yet, you might want to give it a try. Next is, oh, okay, this one here. This is a new, we've got a new person, a new contributor to Fat Fiber, and this is actually Caitlin's from um, Homegrown Fabrics. She has alpacas, and uh, this alpaca, I have to say, is absolutely gorgeous. It's so soft. It's so ready to spin. It wants to jump on my wheel right now. Um, it it's, it's just super, super duper soft. I love it. It's white. So I'm just, I'm really glad that Caitlin jumped on board and decided to contribute this month. And I, I hope that she continues to do so and become part of the little team here that we've got. And um, I, I, you guys are going to love this. This alpaca is wonderful. Let me get it back in there. Next, we've got, we've got some yarn. This is from the Dying Arts, and she calls it her Royal Gray colorway. It's light fingering. It's 100% wool. Um, oh, colorway is Dawn. Well, Dawn or Royal Gray. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's pretty. <laughs> Look at that. It has shades of deep purple, gold. It's kind of a grayish green. Really, really pretty. Looks like it's a little two ply. Um, let me unwind it here so you get a good, a really good view of it. Oh, remember this? Did you guys do this growing up? Ah, I can't do it quite right. Um, but look at that. It's so pretty. You guys are really going to enjoy using this one. I love that. And it matches my nails, so I like that too. Um, really, really, really pretty. This is from The Dying Arts. Next, we've got, oh, here we go. Um, we've got Mama Jude's plant dyed stuff. She sent in this gorgeous, gorgeous batch. She actually sent in two different ones. This one is this bluish green color, and then the other one is um, like a mauve color. So you guys, you know, depending on, on what you get, it doesn't matter. You're going to love it anyways. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, she says that this is a mix of wool and silk. So this is your, this is your silk with here. It's just super pretty. 
I, I've kind of been playing with this one a little bit off and on and, and I want to spin it. Um, so I'm probably, I might sit down tonight to my wheel and spin this while I watch my uh, Sunday night TV, but it's gorgeous. And it's a, it's a very generous, generously sized sample. Um, you're you're going to see that. We've, we had some contributors sent in a um, bit larger samples. So over the next few months, you might notice that. And I don't think anybody will complain because they're getting a larger sample. And I really, you know, it's gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoy it. She also sent in on her label, she wrote, Shadows look different in moonlight. The full moon shone brightly on the new, newly fallen snow. As they walked through the forest of evergreens, shadows took on a shimmering blue-green. How beautiful, she whispered to him. Shadows are so different in the moonlight. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. I don't know, maybe because of the forest or the evergreens or the shadows or, or what uh, whatnot. Um, you guys know I live in the Pacific Northwest, and I actually live up near Mount Hood, so I do have the forest just right out my windows, right out my back windows. I'm lucky. There's a couple acres back there. It's not mine. I wish it was mine, but um, it's not, but it's undeveloped, so that means it's just full of trees, and it's gorgeous, and I love it, And but it kind of makes the house dark a little sometimes, too, but I don't, I don't really mind. I love it anyways. It's beautiful. I love living up here in the Northwest. So this is Mama Jude's. I'm going to put this away. We'll grab something else. This one is sent in by Y East Woolens. And it is a nice, large, generous bat that you guys are going to see. Let me open it up here. It is targy. It is bamboo. It has silk. It has fire star. It's super duper soft super colorful. I really love it. And um, I, I think you guys are going to like it too. Like I said, this is another one of the samples that are large and you probably, I don't know, you can, you can, depending on how you guys want to use your box, if you just want to take all the little samples and kind of play with them and, and do something, or if you want to split them all up and start spinning them, that's usually what I do. I like to spin one crazy yarn out of each box and then I take that yarn and make something later down the road. You know, I've done a couple of scarves that I've woven on my little, uh, what's it called? Sample at Loom from Ashford. Um, I really like that. So anyways, this one's really soft, really gorgeous, really squishy. So I think you're going to love it too. This one was sent in by Wonderland Fiber. And you guys know who that is. That is Chris, who has been um, heading up Fat Fiber for the last couple years. She sent in a blending kit, and it has lots of different types of fibers, different colors. Look at the red bamboo right there. There is also some Angelina in here, too, which is gorgeous. Look at that. Sparkly, sparkly. She's included on her little packet here. She says um, you can use it on your blending board, hand cards, or a drum carter. And she's also mentioning that if you post a picture on Instagram of your blended creation or your yarn and you hashtag it Wonderland Blending Kit, you are going to be in for a chance to win a $50 off of a blending board. So that's pretty awesome. The uh, blending boards you can do um, make some really pretty Rolags, which are awesome. Um, I love them, and I love to spin them. I, I don't usually like to make them. I prefer to buy them. So if you guys buy them and put them in your store, let me know. I'll go shopping. So these are gorgeous Wonderland fibers. Oh, let's do some stitch markers and buttons. Here, let me show you this one. This is from Mrs. Beebe's. I, I believe it's a polymer clay button, but look at that. It looks like stone. It's really cool. I, I love buttons. I have a tendency to collect them. I actually have this big, like, aluminum-type glass container full of buttons that I found at Goodwill. And I think these things are, I don't even know, these buttons are super, super old, but they're really awesome. I love it. But I love new buttons, too. So th this is great. I think you guys are going to like that. Look at that. It's pretty. We've also got some 
stitch markers and some more buttons. Look at these. Let me take this out. Look at these cute. I love this turquoise color. Look at these little star buttons. This is from Gloria Patre. She also sent in candy, Hershey Kisses. So, I mean, who doesn't want to kiss? I always want to kiss. And she sent in these stitch markers. These are super cute. They look like um, little slices of cake. And they have the red, little red and silver beads on them. So cute. I love stitch markers. I have a tendency to just kind of hoard them and, and save them. So someday I might be a serious knitter and actually use them. But um, in the meantime, I'm just going to kind of hold on to them. And I'll, I might, I don't know, I might make a charm bracelet or something out of them. That would be fun, I think. For more fiber, oh, here we go. This is another new fiber artist that's joining us this month. This is Colleen from Blessed Creations Farms. And uh, she, actually this pelt for the background, this came from Colleen. I purchased this from her at, at the Oregon Flock and Fiber that happens every fall in September. Uh, she vends there and I vend there um, every year and it, it's a great festival. It's, it started out, I think, relatively small. I'm not sure how many years ago, but every year it just keeps getting larger and larger and it, it's a really great festival. So if you are in Oregon or if you can somehow get here in September, I think it's the third weekend, you should really come down and give it a try. Um, I think you'll you'll really like it. But she sent in these sample locks. Look at these. This is Border Luster. This is one of my favorite fibers. I love it. I buy a fleece from her every year just because I love these. Look at these curls. How can you not love these curls? <clears throat> these are great for core spinning. I do that a lot, but you can certainly spin, you know, another, any other type of yarn with them. You can take these. You can dye them. You can needle felt with them if you want to use them for hair, doll hair, anything like that. Uh, they're great. So, um, Blessed Creations Farms. Next up is, let's look at these. This is Wild Hair Studio. She sent in these cute little bun buns. I'm going to call them bun buns. I don't know what everybody else wants to call them. But they are cute little bun buns in my book. It's lengths of roving. And um, look at these. There's two of them. Long ones like that. How pretty is that? They are a mixture of Ramadel, CVM wool from their farm, and there's also bamboo and other luxury fibers, and Angelina in it. So it's got a little bit of gold sparkle too, which is super duper pretty. I love this. I love that this is a big generous sample too. I, I really like that. I like the dark brown and the gold. I like everything about it. Who am I kidding? I like it all. Wild Hair Studio. Next, we've got Handmade Hollows. She sent in another sample. This one, I believe, is called Birthday Cake. Let's see. Yes, and it's it's Merino. I love this one. It's um, It has the white base, but you can see another, the little bit of the green on there and the, the burgundy or purple. It's, it's really pretty. It's in a nice um, top form, so it'll be easy to spin. You can split it down here, or you can just spin from here. Uh, whatever you want to do, but it's super pretty. It's soft. You guys are going to love this one, too. Look at that. So many pretty fibers this month. We've got another yarn from Kitty Mine. Kitty Mine sent in this gorgeous dyed blend. This is um, BFL, Tessa Silk, and Gold Stellina. It's a DK weight. And she's recommending, let's say, U.S. Needles 3 to 6. But uh, look how pretty that is. Look at that. It's like a sunset. It's gold and orange. Really pretty. Springy. Got some texture to it. Let's see. Let's open it up. Look how pretty that is. That's a really nice sample. I like that. Kitty Mine Crafts. It's soft, you guys. Make a great shawl. Next up, we have Curly Cues. Curly Cues, well, that's actually me. <laughs> so you guys probably know that. Um, but this is, I, I did the Cheviot wool because I do a Cheviot, well, usually it's Cheviot 
um, a lot of different times. I use a different fiber too, but I started off doing Thursday night sales, um, selling these Chevy at Rovings for $10 for a four ounce braid. So it's super affordable. Lots of new spinners. Um, love to purchase this it because it's so, I can't even tell you how easy this is to spin. It's a pleasure. It's basically effortless, but it has a really long staple length. So it's super easy to spin and um, it takes the dye great. I just, I really love it. So I did, this is almost an ounce, I think. I did a larger sample this time too, because I just want to make sure that everybody, when they get their, their fat fiber box, that, that they're really happy with the amount of fiber that they get. And um, so we're trying, Chris and I are just really, we're trying to kind of boost the boxes up a bit and, and letting, you know, people send in larger samples if they want to. So like I said, you're probably going to see that more in the future. You might go, whoa, look at that. That's a big one. So it's supposed to be. We, we put it in there because we want you guys to have it. And um, so hope you like it. That's Curly Q's. Oh, this next one. Okay, I love this one too. This is Symphony Fibers. This is 100% Surrey Alpaca Tropical Sunrise. And I have to tell you, when I first saw this, I just I just thought it was so beautiful. It's extremely soft too. Um, but Tropical Sunrise, I thought that was perfect. I, uh, I usually don't really go on vacations very much or anything, but this reminded me of a sunset. Well, more than one actually sunsets that I saw when I went to Hawaii last summer. Well, no, it wasn't summer. It was January. Last January, I went to Hawaii with my sister and my niece, which was fabulous because I never go anywhere. I've always just been too busy, you know, trying to raise the kids and work and pay the bills and do all that grown-up stuff. Um, so when I went out there and I saw some of the most incredible sunsets, and I, I can't tell you, this is exactly what I saw. The oranges and the yellows in the sky. And then when you look at the, the, the base, then there's the ocean. Gorgeous. I love this one. I, I think I got to have a full size one of these. I don't know. I really do. But super pretty. I think you guys are going to love it. I do. Look at that. That's beautiful. I want to go back to Hawaii. I, I got to find somebody to go with me. <laughs> uh, see if my sister wants to go again. Here is another stitch marker that we got in. This is from Jaeger and Yarn. And first off, can I just show you guys? Look how cute her cards are. I love those. I mean, I love flowers, but I, I love the colors on that. That's super adorable. She sent in these little ray of sunshine stitch markers. They have this beautiful gold. Look at that little yellow gold bead on there with the silver. I love silver. But uh, super duper pretty. I love it. I love stitch markers. I think I mentioned that already. I'm going to make a charm bracelet out of all of these. I don't, well, I have some for knitting. I'm just, I'm not a really good knitter. I, I like to crochet, but I don't use patterns. So I don't have a need for a stitch marker because I just kind of wing it and do my own thing. But these, they're pretty and I want to use them and I want to do something with them. So I will probably make a little charm bracelet. Maybe I'll show that next time. Next month. I'll have something like that to show you guys. We've got another new person to Fat Fiber, and this is Emily with Autumn Hill Llamas and Alpacas. And Alpaca, I'm telling you, if you guys haven't tried Alpaca, you need to because it's so soft. It, it's wonderful. The um, This is actually a blend of Alpaca, Bamboo, and Merino. And Emily's also included a little discount on the back of her card, too. So there's a percentage discount that you could use when you go to purchase from her shop. But just look at this. This is gorgeous. I, it's so soft. I can't even tell you how soft it is. It's a nice blend with reds and browns. And I think there might be black in there. Really gorgeous. Really soft. I love it. And I'm so glad that Emily decided to join us here with Fat Fiber. Really excited to have her on board. Look at that. You guys got to go grab some of that. One more super soft fiber. Check this out. Plum Crazy Ranch decided to send in some yak samples. This is yak, you guys. 
Yak is so soft. It has a 16 to 17 micron count, which means, I don't know, hello, it means soft. That's what it means. Um, I was going to open this up, but if I open it up, I'll probably not want to put it away. So let me show you what else she sent in. She sent in a large sample. Well, not sample. It's a large a large giveaway. Look at that. Ooh, so soft. I can't even tell you guys how soft that is. Three different shades of yak. We've got a light brown, a cream, and a dark brown. And this, this sample is huge. This is one that's going to be going into the, the super box, or it will be going into um, a giveaway depending on how, how we do it, but it's really pretty. So I, and I should have mentioned that the super box, the super box is something that every month we uh, give this away. It, it's a drawing. And the way you enter the drawing is that any time the customers, you guys make a purchase from anybody that contributed to the box this month, anytime you made a purchase, you will get one entry for each item that you purchase. So and that is on the Ravelry, the Ravelry feed. So the way, what you want to do is you want to go and join the Fat Fiber group on Ravelry and make sure there's going to be a thread in there where you're going to post, you know, Plum, you'll say, oh, I, I purchased from Plum Crazy Fiber um, Yak, you know, the Yak roving or, you know, a dyed roving or a bat or whatever. So for each entry that you do or for each purchase, you get one entry. And I mean, so there. There's a there's a pretty good chance, you know, that you can get a lot of entries in there depending on how many um, shops that you visit and, t and take advantage. A lot of these have really good discount codes, too. So you're going to want to go and check that out and take advantage of that. But um, the super box, like I said, everybody that makes a purchase from any of these shops and we've got like 20 something shops that contributed this month you really you want to go in there and and enter that to win the super box because the super box is going to have everything that you see tonight this maybe this or maybe not maybe a smaller one of it like i said i don't know if this one's going in that one or if we're going to do a, a giveaway on it but you're going to get basically a free fat fiber sampler box so i mean who doesn't want free fiber i want free fiber I want to win it, but I can't, so I just, you know, whatever, somebody else gets to, and that's totally fine. Well, duh, of course it's totally fine. <laughs> what am I saying? It's perfect that somebody wins it. I hope that somebody, you know, is going to really enjoy getting that fiber and, and want to continue to, um, you know, be a part of the fat fiber. But anyway, so that, that is this gorgeous yak. Um, the, the other thing, too, about this that I love, you know, with this, this sample, too, is that fat fiber box that's basically what it was was all about in the beginning is it was basically about getting samples like this out into people's hands so they can have a chance to try it and see what they think before they go and make a bigger commitment of purchasing a full-size product because you know when you're shopping online sometimes you just don't know you don't know what you're gonna get you see photos you see just you know you you read the descriptions but you never know what you're gonna get um, however with fat fiber you get to try like 20 different samples you know yarn and fiber and little notions and knickknacks and all that and you get that in in your hands and it's fabulous it, it, it's just a wonderful thing I think really and the boxes I love it subscription boxes in general I totally love uh, I ordered a couple different makeup ones probably about a year ago and kept doing those and doing those and doing those and uh, I, I had to put it into that because I was getting so many and I wasn't using all the makeup which is not a bad thing I mean some I probably I shouldn't have to wear a whole ton of makeup anyways but yeah subscription boxes are awesome <coughs> excuse me I have one more sample for you guys this one I want to show you. This is from Story Yarn and Beads. And when I saw this little stitch marker, I thought, oh, I think I need earrings like this because they're so flippin' adorable. Look at that. It says hope. I love it. Look at the color of those beads. So, so pretty. It is, um, it's made with carnelian and blue agate. And the Hope Charm it says it fits up to a 6.0 millimeter needle or a U.S. size 10. And she's included a coupon code on here, too. So you guys totally want to take advantage of that. These are gorgeous. These are pretty. You're going to want some of those. So 
Sorry about that background noise. You might hear my dog scratching. Disregard that. Oh, now he's shaking his head. Okay, well, it is time to close up the video for tonight. I really, I just want to thank everybody for being here. It's fantastic that you were here watching the video. I've enjoyed filming it for you. It's been a really long day. Um, and I'm so happy that this was done. And you guys all get a chance to look at all this wonderful stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or comment here. And we will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, look for us on Facebook. Look for us on Ravelry. Look for us on Instagram. We're all over social media. We're going to be all over it. So you can find us there. And I really look forward to everybody getting their boxes. The sale is happening this coming week. And I'm so excited. So put it on your calendar so you guys can see it and purchase your boxes so thank you thank you to all the contributors who um stepped up this month too and sent the the uh the samples in i really appreciate it i you know i've been working with chris these last couple of months um kind of collaborating with her and seeing where you know what's new with with fat fiber and seeing if we can come up with some new ideas and such and and you know maybe a change in leadership but anyways it's wonderful I love it. Fat Fiber has been around forever, and I'm so glad and I'm so thankful that everyone has come along for the journey. So really, ex really excited about working with everybody in the future, and I'm really excited about you guys getting your boxes. So, all right, we'll have a wonderful week, and we will see you guys on Saturday when the box drops. Okay, check your email. All right, bye.